Well, Ken, that was huge. So many heavy blows. And then finally, in the third round, you got that knockout. How did that unfold from your perspective? Um, good coaching. Uh, I was just listening to my coach. Um, just not really going for the takedown. And just holding him against the cage, try to stay active. And then I think the opportunity came, I broke off and just threw what been doing. Been so. Yeah, and that moment when you landed, yeah. what were you thinking? Um, I was actually tired, but uh, you know, <laughs> I ad adrenaline, adrenaline kicks in when you knock them down, and I thought I'd just try to go for the kill. Mm. Yeah. Now you said in your fight camp you had a few setbacks. Watching tonight, you wouldn't know that, but run us through what what unfolded there. Um, started off started off well. Um, I was a bit too heavy coming in at the start of the camp, and then I tore my hammy like <laughs> three weeks in, and then I only just come good like two weeks ago. So. Yeah. That's, that was a setback. And were you worried that was going to play into things or were you still feeling good coming into tonight? I'm still feeling confident. I normally would go the grapple, but um, kept it standing. I think I was just scared of injuring my hammy. Yeah. Oh. And how's the hammy feeling now? Uh, yeah, it's good now. <laughs> <laughs> Not going. <good. laughs> um, halfway through that fight, Cam O'Neill, Eternals director, he actually turned to me and he quote said, this is the maddest heavyweight fight. <laughs> what do you think of that feedback? And did it feel that way, mad? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fast paced, just trying to take each other's ears off. Um, but it was good, I knew he was going for it and I knew it would be tough, but um, you know, taking no credit away from him. I had a tough camp, but um, again, all credit to my coach and um, my um, gym for pushing me. So, got the job done. So.